and sighting your shot. Actually, there's only one point on the object ball that you must hit in order to make it. And that's the one that's in direct line with the pocket. Now you take this shot here. Here's the contact point to make that ball in the corner pocket. In other words, my cue ball is going to have to come on up here and hit that ball approximately there in order for me to make this shot. Now, if I was shooting from this angle, you see what part of my cue ball would be hitting that spot on that object ball? In other words, every time your angle changes, you have to hit the object ball with a different part of the cue ball. Now, the spot on the object ball always stays the same. It never, never changes. But you must keep hitting that spot with different parts of the ball. Now, for instance, this is a straight shot, so you aim, aim the center of the ball right down there. Now we go to one where you have to cut it a little bit. Now I have to hit it there, so I'm going to aim about three quarters of the ball at that same spot. And this is the way it goes. And also try to hit them as soft as you possibly can. Now if I move over here, then I have to cut it a little bit more. But I still try to hit the same spot. English has a lot to do with a lot of sh uh, shots. You take a shot like this. If you have a dead straight shot and you're heading, the shot is heading for the pocket, you have, you're, you're straight for the pocket. If you apply, for instance, right hand English to the cue ball and sight that thing so that you're hitting it right straight for the pocket, you'll find that it will shy away from the pocket because of the effect of the English. In other words, right hand English always throws the object ball the opposite way. Here it is again. Dead straight shot, because I used English, I missed the shot. No, I hit that too good that time. <laughs> Let's get it so that it, I'm hitting it dead straight. I allowed for it then. This is the shot. This is what happens all the time. Now, if you want to uh, lengthen your angle, you can also use English. For instance, you want to make this ball, make, want to make the ball, cue ball come on down this end of the table, then you apply right hand English and try to make your ball and just follow through on your stroke.